So when we roll, you'll look into that camera for your words of wisdom. Get ready. Okay, I'm really nervous. Don't be nervous. And you're we're rolling. Great. You're gonna be fine. Okay. And three, two, one. Before you start talking to potential participants, you should know all the study materials and details backwards and forwards. You will need to be able to answer any questions that people might have and think on your feet if you run into any problems. Cut. When you're recruiting participants for a research study, you have two main goals. One, identify and invite only eligible participants. And two, obtain valid, voluntary, informed consent. Doing it right in a way that provides accurate information and respects people's right to say no. And that's more important than recruiting lots of people. So, no shortcuts. Some days, it may seem that your primary job is to get as many people as possible to sign up. In fact, some days it may seem that this is the only thing the researchers you are working with care about. How many people do we have? But I'm here to tell you that the most important thing is voluntary informed consent. Asking people to participate in research isn't always easy. Not everyone will be happy to talk to you or want to participate. And some people may rudely brush you off. It's important to be prepared for this and realize that there's not much you can do about it. This rejection comes with the territory, but it's not your job to convince people to do something they don't want to do. You have an important role in helping researchers figure out the best way to recruit participants and obtain valid informed consent. Recruiters who are out in the field are the first to realize if a study's recruitment protocol is not working as planned, or if information on the consent form is not understandable by the people the study aims to recruit. If something is not working or does not seem right, speak up and share your insights with your university academic partners. This can serve to better protect participants and enhance their experience of participation. It can also help your study meet its recruitment goals. Ensuring that participants really understand the research and give their informed consent freely can make the entire research experience better, both for the participant and for the research team. For many people living in the United States, English is not their first language. Some studies may be able to hire people who speak other languages. Some of the studies I've worked on have included mostly Spanish speakers. But in some studies, especially those that are small or have limited resources, it may be necessary to exclude non-English speakers from participating. Although excluding people based on their ability to speak English is not ideal, it is disrespectful and could even be harmful to enroll someone to participate in something that they don't understand. And while we're speaking about people who speak a language other than English, written materials like the consent form should not be translated on the spot by research staff or family members. If members of non-English speaking communities are going to be targeted for the study, then all the study materials, including the consent form, should be translated ahead of time and approved by the Institutional Review Board. If you take the time to help participants understand the research, there's less of a chance they'll be surprised or upset by anything that happens in the research. Good informed consent improves trust. When participants trust you, they will tell you the truth and take time to think about their responses. If you provide detailed information, participants will feel comfortable asking you a question if there is something they do not understand. Their understanding may also increase the chances that they don't miss research-related appointments. When participants respect you, they will be more likely to show up for scheduled appointments on time or call when they're not able to make it to a scheduled meeting. Your interactions with participants will be more satisfying if you take the time to explain all the important details up front. And that's a wrap. Good work, everyone. <sighs> See, that wasn't too hard. No, it wasn't too bad. I was so nervous. <laughs> you look great. Thanks. You nice. came across very authoritative. Why, thank you. Yes. Thank you. So I guess that's it for me. Huh? Yeah.